Hi, my name is Nathan. I'm a front-end developer and designer. Uh, I was using CodePen at first, but I'm switching over to Visual, Visual Studio Code. And for more reviews like this, click the link below. So when thinking about your coding environment, there's a bunch of different tools that you can use in CodePen and Visual Studio Code are two really good ones, but they serve different purposes. So CodePen is a really good live environment, so you can see your code come to life as you type it. Uh, it's really good for prototyping, for smaller projects, or to test certain aspects of your code. Uh, Visual Studio Code, on the other hand, is a great just for bigger projects, more integrations, and helps you with the complexity of really big projects. So CodePen, more for prototyping, Visual Studio Code, more for the actual development of your major app. So Visual Studio Code is more for the development of your major project. It has a ton of integrations. It really helps cut through a lot of the complexity of your projects. Um, it can access version control and all kinds of different environments. Uh, so that is really where you build your project, is in an environment like Visual Studio Code. CodePen, on the other hand, is great for much smaller projects and also to test certain aspects. It's a great learning tool. So if you ever were wanting to try something out but didn't want to integrate it to your big project and wanted to see it work very quickly, CodePen is a great place for that to happen. And it also has a huge community, so you can do a lot of research, depending on what you're looking at, see what other designers and developers have created, uh, see their code as well. So it's a great prototyping tool, it's a great testing platform, and it's also free, which is also always amazing. So. For CodePen, definitely prototyping, testing some parts of the tech you've never had before, and learning from the community. To get started with both of these softwares, the good news is, is that it's free. You can download Visual Studio Code directly to your computer, and CodePen is a cloud-based platform, and they're free to get started, and, which is amazing, especially if you're just starting out. Um, I will say that CodePen is much more beginner-friendly, uh, you pretty much take any blank pen, start coding, see your code come to life. Um, you have access to the whole community, so it's right out of the box, real user-friendly. VS Studio Code, on the other hand, is a lot more complicated, especially when you're setting up projects. You do need to have some knowledge of what additions do you need, what add-ons, how to set up like your debugging platform, your version control, all of that good stuff. So there is a bit of a learning curve with Visual, Visual Studio Code just because it can handle such a complex project. So they're both free, easy to get started, but Visual Studio Code will take a little bit longer to get used to rather than CodePen. So when deciding which software to use, you really have to look at what project and what purpose that software is providing. So if you're looking for a coding environment to build a massive project via Visual Studio Code, is the way to go. If you're really just trying to test and learn and need a space to do that, CodePen is the way to go. So it really just depends on your project. Uh, they're both great services, but make sure that you're focused on what you're trying to accomplish first before deciding.